Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Yesterday was the first reveal of new information on Odyssey via Frontier's Dev Diary promo video. Whilst it was fairly light on details, it did show some not very nice looking footage. Meanwhile, the gaming websites Polygon and Twinfinite featured interviews with Elite Dangerous developers where some additional information was revealed. Some of this was very interesting and some of it, well, it was on the disappointing side, shall we say. So let's start with the Polygon interview, and a specific piece of information at that which has spread around the internet pretty fast. Apparently Frontier have told Polygon that walking around inside of your ships and indeed ship interiors, and I assume by interiors they mean anywhere beyond the cockpits, none of this is going to be a part of Odyssey. The interview goes on to say that the developers have said that ship interiors are still something that is being considered. That of course would mean that no coding or actual development work has gone into walking around ships just yet. Instead, it would seem that at best it is on the list of potential possibilities. Now, naturally, this has caused some confusion as Frontier themselves haven't spoken directly with the community or even publicly about any of this yet. Indeed, the confusion appears to extend into Frontier itself as members of the official forums would have seen. There are some details suggesting that the interview took place at a PR event for the press, and it's not really entirely clear what was or wasn't said there. Some people have interpreted that this is a case of Frontier suggesting Polygon got it wrong. Now, let's be very clear on that. Frontier have not said that. They haven't said that in any way. Now, it does seem that just maybe they are seeking a clarification. So, with all of this confusion going on, I wanted to find out exactly what was happening. So today, that's the 19th of August, for anyone watching this at a later point, I reached out to Frontier for further clarification on the situation. Their latest official position on the matter is that they currently do not have a comment, but also that they are working on an official response which they will publish later. So the bottom line then is that right now the situation isn't clear and Frontier can't clarify it right yet, but perhaps are planning on doing so a little later on. My own personal take on this is that Polygon do have the correct information. And the reason I think this is because they spoke directly to the developers. Polygon are a trusted source, but of course everyone makes mistakes, so it's entirely possible that Polygon have misinterpreted something here. However, I also feel it's possible that the developers have revealed information that Frontier Marketing were not ready to reveal yet. In short, I'm inclined to believe the Polygon article or at the very least that even at this late stage in development, Frontier are still undecided on which way they want to go. Either way you cut it, something isn't quite right. Now, moving on, on my personal take, if this information is true, I've got to say it would be extremely disappointing. Sure, we all know development is difficult. Games companies have told us that enough times. But walking around inside ships is something that I know a lot of people will want to do. Players build up a strong bond with their ships and checking out the interiors is something that, well, most players would love to do. Some people, though, might say, but there's no gameplay inside ships. Well, let's face it, there's two sides to that. The first side is, what about shipboarding gameplay with FPS? The second side would be that ship interiors aren't entirely about gameplay. They are an offshoot of player housing that can be found in many MMOs. That in itself is a massively appealing concept and one which space games are crying out for. Regardless of what anyone might think of the tech demo come early development game Star Citizen, CIG certainly do understand ships, and they understand what people want from them. At the end of the day, we will have to see what Frontier's official response on this is. However, keep in mind that Polygon are not the first gaming press to mention those ships. German gaming website GameStar also said the same thing a few months ago. No walking around inside ships or space stations. It becomes harder to believe that two gaming websites would make the same mistake on two separate occasions from two separate interviews spaced months apart. So like I say, those are my personal thoughts. They may or may not be accurate. It's just kind of how I feel. But stepping aside from all of that for a moment, here's some practical options. Any of these could also be true. First, or well, one, Polygon did get it wrong. Two, Frontier haven't yet decided one way or the other, even at this late stage in development. Option three, Polygon actually got it correct. It's entirely possible that any of these are true, and indeed any other option as well. And finally, another thought, whilst ship interiors might not necessarily come on launch, it's entirely possible that they may come further down the line. 
Whatever the case is, right now it's not clear, so I guess we'll have to see. Meanwhile, over on the Twin Sticks website, the interview there has some additional information. First thing mentioned is the new activities Odyssey will bring. So there will be settlements, planetary ports and points of interest. A form of these are already in the game, however Frontier have said, that the, have said in the interview that these areas will come in different sizes. Planetary ports will be the largest. Here players will be able to trade and buy new gear. Settlements will be smaller. In these locations, players will be able to take on missions from NPCs. It might even be possible to raid some of these settlements. Points of interest sound as though there will be areas that spawn in and out depending on what is going on. There's also some talk of the potential for fauna, that is animals down on planetary surfaces, but this seems very very vague. Beyond all of this, Frontier also discussed the act of actually walking around and what this might mean for gameplay. They suggest there will be risks involved and that players will have to keep an eye on oxygen levels to ensure they don't run out of air. Personally, I feel this is, uh, how this actually is managed may actually either help or hinder the gameplay, so I really hope Frontier get this particular aspect correct. Atmospheric flight is something Frontier is still looking into. They haven't yet decided on what impact atmospheres will have on ships. And finally, Odyssey is not currently planned for PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Series X. So there we have it then, all the latest details on Odyssey and some confusion there to boot. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.